Hey everybody, many of you have visited KFC at least once in your life, and we ordered such a bucket of chicken. Here you have breaded legs, strips, and wings. It's all really tasty. So we decided to cook the same bucket, just not from chicken, but from ostrich. First of all, we ordered a huge bucket that was made special for us. Inside it has a spacer, as straight as the original. First of all, we cover the bucket with a layer of primer. Done. Now we paint white from the inside. And we cover the outside with red paint. Then we gave the bucket to an artist. You'll see the result later. We go to the store for some ostrich meat. We bought two huge pieces of ostrich meat. Throw it into the car. They weigh around 43 kilograms. And the check turned out to be for $760. Then we go to the hypermarket. We load 120 liters of sunflower oil directly into the car with boxes. Now you need olive oil, paprika, ginger, black pepper, basil, oregano, dry garlic, and lots of flour and cornflakes without sugar. The whole full car cost us $285. We have two hefty ostrich legs. They still have the skin on them. It is unrealistically durable, so much so that they make shoes out of it. So it needs to be removed. With one hand, we pull off the skin and use a knife to separate it from the meat. There you go. We cut off the unnecessary pieces of fat Now we've cleaned one leg thoroughly. We repeat the same thing with the second one. When the two legs have been perfectly cleaned, you need to separate the shin from the skin. We do everything as carefully as possible so as not to chop the meat. We separate the bone along the joint. And we're left with two pieces, bone and flesh. The second one is cut lengthwise into two parts. In the future, these will be strips. We divide the second leg exactly the same way. There you go, the cutting's over. We have two bones and four sirloin pieces. But the fillet doesn't have the same shape we need. So if you like it like that, then it can fall apart. Let's use twine. With its help, we'll tie together a piece of meat. That's how it should turn out. We wrap it all four pieces like this. And we're done. To make the marinade pass better into the meat, we'll use a thing with spikes. We just use it to punch through the pieces. And then we take a bath like this, put ground ginger, paprika, oregano and basil into it, black pepper, dry garlic, lots of salt, mustard, and a liter of olive oil. Now we mix all this up and pour in 20 liters of hot water. The spices will open up better like that. We lower the pieces of ostrich into the marinade. Add more water to cover all the meat.
and leave it to marinate overnight. Now it's well softened. We spread some foil onto a table, parchment on top of that, Now we get out our future strip. Let the excess marinade drain and put it out onto the parchment and wrap it up. We wrap the legs the same way. We do the same thing for every piece. Now take a baking sheet and put sealed pieces of ostrich on it. The first stage of cooking will take place in our huge oven. We put four refractory bricks on the cart. We put a baking sheet on top. And put that into the oven. Now we'll leave the meat to cook for eight hours at a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. Finally, the time has passed. We'll take it out of the oven. Let's cut the foil and see what's inside. The meat is definitely well cooked. Now we'll open up the rest of the pieces and cut off all the twine. We don't need that anymore. In order to deep fry such huge pieces of meat, you need a large vat and the oil we bought at the store. We open the boxes. We take out the bottles, open them, and pull the oil into the vat. Turns out we pour out about 120 liters. In order to heat this oil, we pour some heated coals into two braziers. Now we need to chop some wood. After that, we lay that all out on the grill. Now we just need to keep a good fire going for two hours. You'll need a grid like this. On that, we're gonna put the meat into the deep fryer. We take three plastic basins. In one, we put water. In the second, flour. And in the third, we'll put three packs of cornflakes in without sugar. First, we'll put the ostrich leg into flour and roll it around on all sides. Then we lower it down into the water. And back into the flour. Back to the water. Flour, water, and the last stage is flakes. We're trying to cover the entire meat area with this. The braided leg is now placed on the grate. According to the same principle, we braided all the other pieces. The final step is lowering it into the deep fryer. Now we just need to keep the maximum heat so that the oil doesn't cool down. And after about 10 minutes of active boiling, we lift the grate. That's it, the KFC ostrich recipe is ready. By the way, this is how beautiful the bucket turned out after they painted a portrait of Colonel Sanders. We'll fill that with the breaded ostrich.
You know, I think it turned out really cool and just like the original. Let's cut off a piece. Inside the meat turned out really juicy. Let's try it. The meat is well marinated and very tasty. And the breading is as crispy as possible. It took us three days and $1,170 to supersize the KFC bucket. And if this video gets 300,000 likes, then I will supersize some other fast food. Write in the comments what you would like to see. Subscribe to the channel and click on this playlist. There are many more videos with huge food. Have a good one, you guys.